I really regret that people's opinion in regard to vitamin C is so polarized because some of the research that's been coming out recently has just been astoundingly uh, curious, at least in regard to helping fight cancer. Remember there was a study earlier this, uh, this year where they just discovered how vitamin C actually helps to work to kill cancer cells and now they're finding out that vitamin C is actually working to kill cancer stem cells. The interesting paradox here is that researchers are discovering that an antioxidant it can be both a pro-oxidant and an antioxidant at the exact same time. Simple terms is kind of like a quantum state or what I would say your peaceful guardian. Some of the works she works to protect, but at the same time, too, knows how to fight. With that, let's get right into public research as follows. Vitamin C effective in targeting cancer stem cells. Vitamin C has been previously shown to be effective as a non-toxic anti-cancer agent in studies, and it was recently shown to reduce mortality by 25% on breast cancer patients in Japan. So the researchers want to pursue this course as to why. So we've been looking at how to target cancer stem cells, with a range of natural substances, including silabinin, which is an extract of milk thistle, and cake, which is a technical term basically for honeybee propolis. But by far the most exciting as a result was with vitamin C, and that is their quote. They wanted to compare less toxic substances, because right now, a lot of chemo treatments they're realizing are failing in regard to actually killing the cancer stem cells. So what natural substances out there that could actually target the cancer stem cells itself? They looked at a few. I want to cover a highlight of the runners up at the end of the study. Until this time, I want to just basically focus on the vitamin C. So let's go right into the study parameters as follows. Citation title, NADH autofluorescence, a new metabolic biomarker for cancer stem cell identification of vitamin C and cake, remember the honeybee propolis, as natural products targeting stemness. DOI is as follows. Funding is as follows with no conflicts of interest. Study participants, well, it's in vitro or your test tube, you know, cell culture dish, whatever. Materials are listed. They did a great job listing all the materials and methods for other uh, statisticians or researchers to delve deeper into. Analytics, that's the type of test that they utilized. Results, vitamin C, this is to quote directly from the research and not to add lib even a word. Vitamin C is up to 10 times more effective at stopping cancer cell growth than pharmaceuticals as 2-DG, which are other uh, experimental drugs in regard to killing cancer stem cells. According to scientists in Salford, UK, the research published on Oncotarget is the first evidence that vitamin C ascorbic acid can be used to target and kill cancer stem cells, the cells responsible for fueling fatal tumors. And in the interest of time, let's proceed forward to their conclusion. Here we show that vitamin C can also be used to target cancer stem cells population, as it is an inhibitor of energy metabolism that feeds the mitochondrial TCA and OXP AOH uh, cycles. Similar results were also obtained with three other glycolysis inhibitors, namely 2-DG, silabin, and steropentol. Importantly, steropentol is a clinically approved drug, but it's used mainly restricted to the treatment of epileptic seizures in children. We'll go more into that in, uh, in a few seconds and not approved for cancer therapy. Thus, the highlight of the quote, of all things I just rushed through, thus vitamin C, quoting the researchers, may prove to be promising new, uh, promising agent for new clinical trials aimed at testing its ability to reduce cancer stem cell activity in cancer patients as an add-on to more conventional therapies to prevent tumor recurrence, further disease progression, and metastasis. Interestingly, a breast cancer-based clinical trial, as we said before, has been shown that use of vitamin C concurrent with or within six months of chemotherapy significantly reduced both tumor recurrence and patient mortality. However, the mechanism underlying its potential clinical benefit remained obscure. Similarly, vitamin C tr treatment inhibits tumor growth in murine animal models in vivo as well. All right, to highlight some of the other aspects. So vitamin C is incredible. The main reason why the focus on vitamin C is because its ability to kill cancer stem cells, as well as works as an antioxidant and be virtually non-toxic. However, to highlight a few of the other elements which basically deserve mention, let's look right into the steropentol, which is a pharmaceutical. Now remember, this has got some toxic side effects, but yet still, it was 50 to 100 times more potent than 2-DG, which is another pharmaceutical which is look, looking for approval in regard to killing cancer stem cells. Honeybee propolis, otherwise known as CAPE, 
This is kind of cool too. 60% of normal fibroblasts survived, meaning they kept the healthy cells intact, while greater than 70% of cancer cells were eliminated. Thus, CAPE, honeybee propolis, shows a clear selectivity for targeting CSCS cancer stem cells and adherent cancer cells relative to the normal fibroblast. Silbonin, milk thistle extract, specifically functioned as an inhibitor of glucose uptake and blocked mammosphere formation as the stem cells itself, which result in tumor formation. That was the research was recently conducted this year. It's kind of cool, again, it primarily focused on vitamin C, even though there are other highlights that deserve pursuit. So I hope no one's opinion is really polarized against vitamin C at this point in time in regard to cancer treatment or cancer therapy, because it does show promise not only as an antioxidant, but a pro-oxidant, which is really, really, really cool. And according to the researchers here, they're not saying necessarily go off of chemotherapy, but they say it could be work great in conjunction with chemotherapy to prevent disease recurrence by targeting the cancer stem cells itself. And that would be really wonderful. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off. Hope to see you all again in seven days. And as usual, I hope you find this information of use. The UI citations and everything else is listed so you can go further into the research on your own. And thank you very much for listening once again. Catch you next week. Bye.